Wire. By Fender. Vintage. Modified. Base. Six. Let's check it out what you got. How funky can you be? Hey guys, what's going on? Let's check out here with a pick. Me playing the Vintage Modified Bass 6. Is it a bass or is it a guitar? We'll find out. Let's see what this thing's got. Playing this with a pick and muting it with the palm. It's very happy with the sound. This is a sort of remake of Fender's 6. It was called Fender 6 from... 61 to 75. Yeah, I'm playing chords with it and a bass line. This is what I was looking forward to. And it came in the Squire box. And looked great out of the box. Nice wood. Nice pick art. The protector's still on. Four switches. A non-locking tremolo. Three single coil pickups. However, the intonation was far from ideal. We were 17 cents sharp on the fifth fret, seven cents sharp on the 12th fret. So some intonation issues, and I'm not even sure if the bridge can correct that. There's not enough play with that. So not a good setup out of the box. Really nice inlays. Um, I didn't like the sharpness of the edges there on the neck. Strings that came with, came with our supposedly 85s, the low E. Everything here is a little bit sharp, so you can cut yourself a little bit easily on those switches and pickups. But from a distance, it looks great. Instrument has a good amount of weight as well. Here's the non locking tremolo. Struck out some more. difficult to play it with a correct intonation the way the instrument was set up also the string to string tension varies so much from the low E to the high E the high E and the B very high tension but the low E the low A string is so soft yet here I activated the low cuts it's the one on the left that switch allows you to play chords keep in mind the lower you go the weirder it sounds a lot of people do that. I never liked it. I like the chords to be in the upper registers. Remember, we are an octave below a guitar. It is a bass. Um, so these strings are very, very floppy here. So it requires some really good technique with the left and right hand to make it sound right. So they bounce quite a bit. They don't offer much resistance. Well, it's a bit harder to play than I thought, to be honest. I thought coming from the bass and from the guitar, I'm going to jump right into this. No, you got to learn this instrument. All without effects here. Honestly, I recommend La Bella Deep Talking Bass Strings. They are... They're flat wound strings and they're a little bit thicker. They go up to 95 on the E string. One thing you have to consider though, I mean, in my opinion, we could even go to 105s. The nut though will require some work here because it's not wide enough for much thicker strings, in my opinion, at least on this bass here. So the whole instrument wasn't set up well at all the way it arrived. Really nice to play some chords on it. It's possible.
can even get some jazz tones out of it. I liked it because it is a large guitar with a 30 inch scale that's four inches more than a regular guitar and it's four inches shorter than a regular bass. It's somewhere in the middle. So especially the higher strings, you get some nice string tension out of there. The high notes, something to look forward to. But like I said, uh, don't buy it unless you're really willing to set this instrument up nice. You're gonna have to put in some nice strings, some, some thicker strings. Uh, the way they ship this is definitely designed for some, I don't know, soloing or some weird obscure chords. You gotta spend some money, maybe a new nut, you gotta shimmy the neck and things like that. Work on the intonation and I'm not even sure if you can correct 17 cents on the intonation with the amount of room we have on the bridge. So I returned it, maybe I'll try out the Pawn Shop series bass from Bass 6. Maybe they have a little bit higher build quality. Um, I think still uh, my final verdict is don't buy it if you want an instrument that's out of the box playable, unless you want some sort of an experimental instrument. If you want an instrument that is nicely set up, you're gonna have to spend some extra money and some extra time just as a heads up. But I think there's tremendous potential with this bass, Massive Beats Out.